wanted to show you a really quicker way to just kind of do some initial checks right off the bat in case you can pick it up that way. We were unsuccessful doing that, so my next step would be to break out my electronic leak detector. I usually don't go to the ultrasonic leak detector unless I'm really having trouble finding that leak, and in which case when I use those ultrasonics, I like to pump it up with nitrogen and add quite a bit of pressure to it because we really want to get that thing leaking hard to use the ultrasonic so you can hear the leak. The electronic leak detector sensing the refrigerant and picking that up and going off and ringing out to let you know. So where I usually like to start on a split system like this, I go right to the evaporator coil, pull the drain line, make sure obviously the drain pan is dry, and then I like to stab the end of my leak detector in there because if, I, if it goes off in the drain pan of the unit, you know the leak is in the evaporator coil. So that's a really quick way Leak still may be in a U-band of the evaporator coil. Maybe it's not a really big leak, but if you put it in there and you start ringing out in the drain pan of the indoor unit, chances are your leak is somewhere in that evaporator coil. And then at that point, you can tear your coil, your panels off your indoor unit. And then I go back to the spray and start spraying down my U-bands on my evaporator coil until I'm picking up bubbles. And then I know, can I repair that leak? Do I need to change the coil? And so on.